Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll look at using arc align text from a DWG file. This is a new feature in TPC Desktop 2014 Agile Release 2, available October of 2014. I've opened a drawing here in a new survey, and I'm going to right click, tell Travis PC I want to import data into the drawing, and I'm going to choose an AutoCAD DWG file and browse. We've got a stamp here that a user has sent us. Let's go ahead and import that. Take a look at what we've got here now. So here's a stamp from Peter Olson, North Dakota. And uh, Traverse PC has brought in the Arcaline text for his name and for the name of the state. I'm just going to put the cursor over Peter's name here. And we see that this is an arc aligned text object. And if you look down about four or five lines here, we see factor, character space, and offset. These are additional attributes that this arc aligned text has inside of um, AutoCAD where this came from. Now to Traverse PC, this is just object aligned text. Traverse PC wouldn't care if this was aligned to a tangent, an arc, a spiral, whatever. But when it sees an AutoCAD entity for arc aligned text, it makes the connection that, oh, okay, this is aligned to an arc in Traverse PC. I'm going to put the cursor uh, over the drawing data here and expand the layers option. And let's just take a look at these two arc aligned text objects here. Again, we see the alignment factor, character space, and offset, same values they would have inside of, of AutoCAD. Now, so we've read this in as a DWG and it aligns properly. Let's go ahead and write this back out now. So tools, export drawing as, and let's go ahead and send this out as a DWG file. And then let's go ahead and preview it inside of AutoCAD. I brought it into my DWG viewer over on my other monitor, and this is what uh, we sent. So I could do a regen here and uh, smooth out these circles and arcs here. But basically, Traverse PC then can read and write arc aligned text from the DWG files or DXF files. And when arc aligned text objects come into Traverse PC, they're just an object aligned text that happens to be lined up to an arc. Okay, let's close this out and let's undo that to import. We've also taken um, that arc aligned text and created a round stamp for you. We based it on the North Dakota stamp. And I'm just going to insert that into Traverse PC here. And let's go ahead and do a regen so you can see where that's at. Take a look at that. So this is a block reference to that um, North Dakota stamp block. And I could simply come in and tell Traverse PC that I want to then convert this to a group. And now I'm free to come in and edit this particular text. In this case, case the John Doe, go to Properties. I could then put in my name. Change the stamp number or whatever. And then go back and uh, write this back as a new block that I can use again inside of Traverse PC. Let's create a new drawing now. And I'm going to draw an arc in this drawing just manually. It'll be in survey space, but you can do this in survey space or paper space or whatever. And let's go ahead and label this arc. And initially, Traverse PC creates a stacked label. Let's tell Traverse PC we want to align that label. Now, the options for this label, or the attributes of this label, come from our drawing settings. There's an object labels that tells Traverse PC, put the distance above, the direction below. Here's our label size. We can increase that and apply that setting. Um, we have offsets from the line uh, in here. I think that's in miscellaneous label offsets. So we can control the font, size, color, all that sort of thing for this label. And let's go ahead and tell Traverse PC then that we want to export this, just so we can see what we get uh, over in AutoCAD. Let's clear this. Just going to hit the Export button, overwrite the file that was there, and let's hit Preview now. So Traverse PC is going to open this in my browser on another monitor. I'm going to bring that over here for us to look at and close out this one. OK, 
Okay, so here's Traverse PC's Arcaline text. Here's AutoCAD's Arcaline text. If I were to do an inquiry of this real quick and just list this out, I can see that um, I've got an Arcaline text object, and that's part of the Express Tools at Autodesk.com. Okay, so there's more we can certainly show you about Arcaline text and the interface with CAD, but we just want to let you know it's in now in TPC Desktop 2014, Release 2, and uh, certainly you can use it to right away to uh, create your um, stamp. If you've got a, a round survey or stamp and uh, use it for transferring data back and forth between AutoCAD files.